Hey there, fellow parents. Welcome to our back to school edition with Barita Moms. Today, we're shaking things up and giving you a sneak peek into our own backpacks. That's right, we're talking parent survival kits, school supplies, and maybe a few surprises along the way. Let's start by allowing each of our moms to introduce themselves. Over here on my left, we have none other than Sarah Ying Henriquez. Welcome, Sarah. And how many children do you have? I have two kids, a boy and a girl. Oh, very cute. <laughs> Tell us one fun fact about yourself. Well, one fun fact about myself is that I, the age difference between my kids is actually 16 years apart. 16 years, wow. Okay, so you have a wide range of experience then. Yes, I have university to prep school. Oh, perfect. I'm sure they get along. You don't <laughs> like mommy and your they son, do, don't they? They do get along. You'd be surprised that they have that huge age gap, but they do get along very well. Oh, love that. Over here on my right, I have a very familiar face. Who are you, madam? Hi, I'm Tankita Chance Wilson. Yes, and which department do you work in at Barita? Ah, I work in the most fun department. I'm the executive director for the Barita Foundation. Oh, foundation. Okay, I get it. <laughs> All right, how many children do you have? So I have two babies. I have a son and a daughter. They're both teenagers. Oh, fun, fun, okay. fun. So they're how far apart are they? They are exactly two years apart. Oh, you planned it all? Then? I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell me a fun fact about you. All right, so a fun fact about me is that I plan ahead and then do things last minute. <laughs> okay, it's a, it's a balance then. Yes, we're, we're parenting, we're, we're getting my kids ready for school is concerned. Okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, 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 I understand. Guess what? I forgot to introduce myself. I am Sarah Campbell. And uh, I have two little boys, uh, one in high school, one in prep school. And a fun fact about me is before I got into Barita and finance and all that, I actually was a homeschool mom. So I homeschooled my firstborn for seven years. Woo! It was, you know, interesting, right? But I loved it. So let's get into our back to school. It's that season, crazy season, getting everything together. What are some of the things that you guys do to get prepared is what we want to see. And we know you have some backpacks with you. So let's start with Sarah Y to see what's in your backpack. Okay. Backpack, 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 backpack. Ding, ding, ding. All right, so one of my to-dos is with my kid that is, um, is to have a clear pencil box so they can see what is in there. Um, it keeps him organized and myself organized also if it is that he needs additional pencil supplies mm. or crayons or a sharpener, I will get it for him. So in my pencil box at the moment, I have some really, really cute erasers. Oh my gosh, so, cute. so this is, is a, a yes. <laughs> A shark and a crocodile. Oh, those are cute. <laughs> <laughs> so to keep cute. it interesting. Yeah. Also, he's a fan it. of Legos and I have a Lego pen. Oh, I've never cute. seen That's that before pencil. in my life. Yeah. 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 yeah, so how do you get a point that one? It's... Where? No, this one is cool. Oh, oh. oh that's so yeah. cool. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. My kid would love this. I, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> and also, a good handy tip is these twistable crayons. Ooh. So I have a problem with him always breaking. He's mm -hmm. a boy, so All he's breaking. Do. It keeps it um, together mm -hmm. so I don't lose any colors or break them so I can't find them. So he has this at all times. Love that. Let me see these twistables. So you can just twist Thank it you. up and down and help to preserve the crayon a little bit longer throughout the year. Yes. And I guess less mess as well. And less, less mess. Yeah. And you know what's funny? My son, he loves to tear off the paper on the crayon. Yeah. Like they get all fidgety and tear it off. Now they have no options with these. So that works out perfect. Nice. What's this? Oh, what's so this? Cool. So my son is into, I didn't know that this was a fidget. He has a fidget. Yeah. Um, it's not necessarily a fidget spinner, but right. they have different types of fidgets. But when we were growing up, we would yeah, have like, like that the origami origami thing. Right. Yeah. What we used to call it again when you had the numbers. Sure what it was called. But you used to have the numbers yeah. or the colour, and then you open right, it up right, and you have right. colours and you open it up. Yeah. So he, this is his fidget that he made. And oh, he wanted to show nice. you guys. Oh. So we have a lot of construction people also that to make him, you know, occupied. Mm -hmm. 
What else you got in there? Uh, well, I have a handy water bottle. This mm -hmm. actually okay. keeps the water very, very cold. Mm -hmm. And this will actually fit like in the bag yes. perfectly. Nice. If I need to put ice, it will last in the entire day. Mm -hmm. I keep it my hydrated, especially now. In this yeah, summer. it's hot. Yes, right. It is. All right. Um, so as I said, he loves to create things. So a drawing mm -hmm. book is also a must also. So, so he, he likes to draw and express himself. Blank pages. Yep. Mm -hmm. I guess him going with his creativity. More than likely he uses scissors and cut out the paper mm -hmm. and make yeah. something with it. Great for me, but that's fine as long as yeah. he has the papers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is great for even if he's at school over time or they're a little bit early, mm -hmm. he would have Keep something it. that he can do until the teacher is ready right, for him right, right. occupied. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Um also we have uh, some a book with like sight words. So it helps him you know in terms of spelling identifying words mm -hmm. it, it does help a lot um because i guess when we were going to school it was just most about remembering right, right. The words learning. but you can actually mm -hmm. identify a word based on where you see it mm -hmm. okay all right so here's another item that i found mm -hmm. useful when my son was learning math it's yeah. actually a uh, some flashcards that you can write and also erase mm -hmm. oh so it keeps them engaged and it's something that you can also reuse yeah nice and for the smaller kids, with uh, they have a difficulty sometimes holding like smaller items mm -hmm. like pencils and pens or smaller crayons. These are some jumbo crayons, mm -hmm. and this is cool. also very helpful. jumbo Yeah, this okay. is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let those little babies, those stubby fingers, can hold around it. Yeah, yeah. some really cool stuff and practical stuff. So. We should look at it. Let's just put them all over. All open. right. Yeah. So we have the water bottle. Yeah, yeah. We have the pencil case that you can see. Yes. Right. Nice and clear. I also have a apron, our apron. Mm -hmm. Keep them clean in the uniform. My, the drawing book. Right. And the sight words. Mm -hmm. And a folder to keep them organized if they have any loose papers. Yeah, yeah. very important. I love mm -hmm. these that are more like the plastic kind because, you know, the kids, they throw their bags around mm -hmm. everywhere. And if some water gets on it or they leave it out in the rain, at least their papers won't be soaked immediately. The plastic folders actually kind of keep it a little bit And better. it protects the pages right. so they don't bend and exactly. fold and things. So yeah, yeah, I really love these. These yes, are perfect. much more durable. Yep. Exactly. They can so be reused. Colorful. I love how everything is colorful. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Sarah. Awesome. I love these <laughs> items. Can I just take all of them from you? <laughs> all right. We're going to keep on rolling and we want to see what Tankita has in her bag. Sure. So I have high schoolers. I said I have teenagers, right? Mm. 13 and 15. So my bag's a little different. Um, I'm good. I also have water bottles. I have a son and a daughter, so the things kind of vary. So I have my water bottle um, and it's handy. They can move around with it. They can hold it. They can take it to PE or swimming, whatever activity they have. Question, um, mm -hmm. how do you get them um, not to fight over the water bottles? Or this one is mine, this one is mine. Do you have like very distinct so, colors? Yes, or? so I have two different colors and um, then I of course label it at the bottom or somewhere. Right. So they know which one belongs to who. Okay. And so they know, and I try to get one that's unique. So it will stand mm -hmm. out when they're at school, right. so they won't get it mixed up. And like, they can easily spot it from afar. Perfect. Right. So that's what I do. And then in the spirit of things you can um, consume, I also have a little snack in the event that the lunch line is too long, mm -hmm. they can't get a ticket or whatever, so I do that. And um, this it's healthy. I find so helpful. Oh gosh, because, yes. Because uh, when they half eat the snack, they can just put it right back in the right. Ziploc so afterwards. Right, so they start it at lunchtime and they can finish it after Perfect. the activity. So you just put it in the, snack, just put it in. the Ziploc from right. the get-go. So, so they can they move can around with it as well. Yes. Right. Exactly. Perfect. Eat half, just put it back right. in. No waste. We're saving the world. No, yes. okay. And we have to protect the environment too. Exactly. So they don't toss things everywhere. They can put it back in the bag and right. we put it in, in the, the bin. Right. right. I also try to do a healthy snack. So I'll do some um, fruit as well. What? Yes. And then <laughs> I have a whole bunch of stuff. I do wipes because, you know, they do get sweaty. Teenagers right. do get sweaty and they also need to wipe their hands. Mm -hmm. um, I also do a little hand sanitizer just to keep you know before they have lunch to keep their hands clean yeah. so again teenagers need to stay clean um i do a whole 
a whole bag actually for my daughter. Um, she is a teenager, so you know she may need to um, have little sanitary items. Right. So she has her little sanitary bag and in the and bag. It must be pink. It must be pink for the daughter, <laughs> my, you know. So yes, yes, yes. She loves pink. Um, in it, she has, you know, after PE again, teenagers. She may need to freshen up a bit. Yeah. So I have little items for freshening oh, up. Wait, wait, yeah. Yes. Travel size. Travel size. Right. So it's good to get those little travel size stuff that can fit in the bag. Right. After swimming, she may get a little ashy. So she may want to do her her elbows and her knees. No man, we feel inspired. Feel inspired. Thank you. Yeah, go on. Yes. Through. No. Yeah. I need I'm going to prepare it. Right. And you know, teenagers get a little touchy, so they want to, they're very sensitive about different things. Yeah. So you try to, I try to make sure she's well prepared. Um, my son, you know, he needs the things too. I pack it, he won't necessarily use it, but <laughs> if ever he needs it, he can use it. So that's there. Class, when was the last time you were in a high school class? Ooh. Well, I, at my not. son's school, they're not allowed, parents are not allowed in the classroom. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> Most schools, but it's very hot, yeah. you know, especially when they get back in September. So I have no, these portable no, shots. No, I no, I'm this. telling you, you need it, right? Because it gets really hot. All right, bougie. So <laughs> I pack fans and I try to color coordinate, but it doesn't always work. Well, so this I get, is perfect for burrito colors. So there you go. I'll just. <laughs> You can borrow it. So in addition to that, of course, you know, they have their books and stuff. Um, that is that is key. They also, like Sarah, they, have, they need folders to keep their papers together. They'll have a lot of folders, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So that's important. Um, they usually have, a, you know, other little things like geometry sets and stuff. Right. And um, a homework book so that we can keep track of the homework. Uh, so I never hear I have no homework. Exactly. Right. Oh and just in case they want to do a little doodling or make any notes, they don't have to do it in their right. Because the high schoolers doodle too. You they know, doodle. Just yeah. Kids, and so. sometimes they just want to write little things down. Yeah. So I have that. I too have a pencil box for them to keep their things organized, their stationery organized. And a little cute thing that I do is to write encouraging notes. Uh, Yes. Aww. So I, you know, in the mornings, if they have a test or something, I will say, you are brilliant. You do great. Don't worry about it. Or sometimes it's just, mommy loves you. Don't forget to eat your fruit. Aww. You know, Aww. so I stick that somewhere where I know they'll see it in their pencil box. You're like those little influencer moments yes. on Instagram. You, well, I don't know, but you <laughs> know, I just, I'm just trying to do, be a good mommy. Yeah. And so to, um, to just to make them know, reassure them that, you know, Mommy's thinking of you because it, it, the teenage years can get a little tricky, you know, the high school years. Or I'll stick it in my, if my daughter isn't feeling well in the morning, I will stick it in her little um, bag. And so when she opens it, she'll see it. Yeah. I'm so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, the bags vary because I do have a son and a daughter. Right, yeah. But um, some of the things are similar and mm -hmm. some are unique because, you know, each child is unique and you have to That's right. um, certainly, um, you know, acknowledge that. Yes. 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 Love it. I have a Aww. bag of things. I know. Let me clear them off. <laughs> no, you guys are too cool. I'm really loving all of the tips that I'm seeing coming out in terms of what you put together for your individual child. And so I guess a big part of it is knowing your child, what they may need, right. and thinking ahead to provide for them in their backpack. So right. I love that. Yeah, and like I'm doing now, I hope they are remind them to put the things back in the bag <laughs> when they are coming home. Yeah, so, so we don't halfway through the year, yeah, you know, we to don't start have from scratch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so okay. that's my bag of things. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Um, all right, well, I have a few things. You guys have had amazing stuff so far. I have a few things I just wanted to add on to it. Uh, one of the stuff that uh, really stressed me out. So I have two footballers. Oh, wow. They drink a lot of water and they're very dirty. And uh, what has been happening is uh, they keep on coming home with their water bottles. You know, those standard igloo water bottles um at the top very dusty like where the spout is and i found these new water bottles for this term and i'm so excited because it has the cover over the spout oh, nice. so it doesn't get dusty and it actually has a locking system where you can open it and drink and then lock it back down i'm so excited about that also in order to keep it out of the dirt it has this little handle that you can hook it under a fence oh cool so you just hook it to a fence and it hangs yeah. down i'm like oh 
Love it. Yeah, so yeah. Good friends are good friends. This is my good friend that I got for this upcoming term. So I'm excited about then utilizing. I love that you have it already. That's so cool. Um, yeah, yeah, you know. Sometimes I prepare. Yeah. But other little things I have in my bag too. So I have a high schooler and a prep schooler, as I said before, and they actually require that they have a laptop to bring. So what I got was a laptop sleeve that he could just put the laptop in and keep it and put the cord in the front so it has another little compartment here. And then this goes into the backpack. So trying to consolidate so they don't have a bunch of different bags. I have this here. And it's not right, too bulky, right. it's nice and thin. And on the inside, it is uh, this kind of uh, padding, yeah, 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 padding right. protective layer that oh, nice. will help the laptop. Because you know, they're boys. <laughs> Yeah, they throw their bags around the place and so this keeps the laptop safe. So, I really love that. Another thing that I saw was this little book sleeve. It's the first time I'm seeing these. So, when it is that you have your book and you want to mix it up and protect the book a little bit, you can actually put on this book sleeve that I found over the book. Sometimes you might want to change the colors or just keep your book safe from That's all so of the cool. different wear and, and tear yeah, yeah, yeah and it's, it's different and it has all of these little bookmarks yeah. on it and you just slip it over the edges this may be good for the textbooks actually yeah, right. especially the rental books exactly. that you want to return at the end of the year exactly mm -hmm. so when it is that you have your rentals and maybe you want to make it a little bit easier than doing all of that wrapping you can just order a couple of these online and ta-da i just wrapped a book Oh, that's so a jumbo book cover. And do they come in different sizes? Yes, different sizes, different colors. So you can get that online and uh, buy it for the books that you have for your kids. So I thought that was really cool. And it then, is very this cool. Is the little mm -hmm. bookmark, especially for the textbooks, if they have a certain reading for the day, mm -hmm. they can actually put the bookmarker in it to remember when they go home which page they're supposed to read. But for those who don't have these, of course, we have the traditional clear adhesive um mm. paper wrapping not yeah, wrapping. in different colors, colors right? yeah, some fun colors Comes in all the colors yeah, yeah, yeah. now if you've ever wrapped a book with this <laughs> you might think it was created to end your life because it's very annoying right <laughs> but i have a little tip did you know that it is easier to wrap it when it is that you use a credit card Anybody ever know that before? No. Get out the air bubbles. Yes. Uh. So, so you use a credit card, you put it on, when it is that you put on the clear um, cover, you use a credit card and you just scrape it out while you're doing the covering and it actually gets out the bubbles and makes it nice and smooth. Yeah. So I actually saw that online and I have been using that ever since and it really helps me. And so, I like that it has a measurement thing on the inside of it. Right, to cut along the side there. of the book. So, that is my little tip that I definitely encourage all the mamas. Don't let the wrapping of the books drive you crazy. Just use a credit card and scrape along and it should be fine. Last thing that I want to highlight, my best friend wrote the term is a Sharpie. <laughs> so you see on my cool water bottle, there's even a little section for a label. Oh nice. Yeah, and I just use my Sharpie and write in my kid's name. And there we go, he's nice and labeled. Oh, so cool. I actually mm -hmm. use a Sharpie on everything. So even in their books, mm -hmm. on their laptop, um, sleeve, everything I write their name on. So that's one key tip, label everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. including the uniform. The uniform <laughs> on the top of the shirt, the pants, right. especially if you have children who are athletes, like my little boys in our um, footballers group, Almost every day, have as a you parent, seen, you know, have you the, seen yeah, yeah, this yeah. shirt? <laughs> this shoes, one pair of shoes came home today. One shirt, yeah, no yeah. belt. So we label everything. And then at the school, most schools have a little lost and found area, right? So then you just go and you can look through it and you can say, this one is mine because it's labeled. So right. Sharpie is my best friend and I recommend that for everybody. So yeah, those are just a few little items I wanted to add on to what you guys already stated. Yeah, that's some today. fun stuff. I love the sleeve idea, of, you know, yeah. for, especially for textbooks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And literature books, so when they're reading, yeah, right. you know, they can always mark the page yeah yeah and there you have it parents a sneak peek into our own backpacks filled with essentials surprises and maybe a few laughs along the way <laughs> what's in your backpack 
share with us in the comments below. And don't forget, hashtag back to school with Barita. We want to hear from you. Share your tips and tricks to keep the preparation going for September. Yay! <laughs>